Hey everyone, it's Akash Panasu here, back with another update on my journey in the 3M Young Sciences Challenge. I hope you're all doing great. Today, I'm super excited to share the progress I've made on my project, what it's been like working with my incredible 3M mentor over the summer, and what this entire mentorship experience has meant to me. So let's dive right into it. My project has come a long way since we first talked. If you remember, I'm working on a CO2-based solution for treating bromites and beehives, a critical issue in beekeeping that impacts not just bees, but our entire food supply and ecosystem. Did you know that bees are responsible for over 80% of global food and crop pollination, and are responsible for one in every three bites of food we eat every single day? Bromites are the number one threat to bees worldwide. And I'm so excited to share my results. Over the summer, I've created two prototypes, and the third and latest prototype is still in creation. I've also coded an AI model for Veromite detection using an iOS camera so that when beekeepers are out in the field, they can see how healthy their hives are and which hives need the CO2 treatment. The most amazing part of this summer, though, has been working with my 3M mentor, Mr. Rodrigo Marmo. Honestly, the guidance and support I've received have been game-changing. Mr. Marmol has been there every step of the way, helping me troubleshoot challenges, explore new ideas, and push the boundaries of what my projects can achieve. We've had countless video calls and emails full just of brainstorming. I've learned so much, not just about my project, but about the scientific process, how to think critically, and how to approach problems from different angles. It's been like having a backstage pass to innovation. Mr. Marmo is an expert in the industrial adhesives and tapes division and has provided invaluable support for developing an additional prototype. Before I dive into the details of this prototype, let me explain the mechanism behind my project. CO2, being heavier than air, naturally sinks to the bottom of the hive. This CO2 exposure immobilizes the mites, causing them to fall through a varroa screen, something conveniently found in every commercial Langstroth hive. Now, the prototype I've developed functions like a trap designed to catch these varroa mites. It uses specialized adhesives to secure the mites, the AI model, the names to be decided, then scans the trap and determines the hive health based on the number of mites captured. To wrap this up, I just want to say how grateful I am for this opportunity. The 3M Young Sciences Challenge isn't just a competition. It's a journey of growth, learning, and discovery. And I'm so pumped to continue on this path. Thank you to the 3M and Discovery Education team, and I'm so excited for the final events in October. As always, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and stay tuned for more updates as I continue to work on my project. I'll see you in the next video.